So let's introduce to you how to register for GitHub and have a new username. And this username is also known as your GitHub ID. So let's first search for GitHub and get to the sign in button. Then you have an option to create an account. And this engagement pathway starts. Put in your email, whatever email works for you. Then you click continue, pick a password. Then here is your username, which is also known as your GitHub ID. You don't need to always accept product updates and announcements. Pass the capture. And now you're done. You just need to validate your email. Look in your email for this launch code. And now you can take some customization issues. You can always skip the personalization as in that option below, but otherwise saying student teacher or here is just some selections that may be beneficial. I liked a couple things like automation and community, but you can always skip these on afterwards. Obviously, you can start with the free version for now. And after this fancy graphic, you have a dashboard here. Now that you've gotten started, you can get your GitHub ID. If you ever forget your ID, it's in the right hand corner, this upper right hand. And then if you want to change your username, you can change it. Would you recommend against that? You can always hide your public email. And then if you go down to account, you can change your username here. But as you see, you have unintended side effects. So please be aware of the warning. Don't change your username if you don't have to. Thanks so much and happy coding.